Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Suyin. Today's video is going to be something I'm super excited about. It's a how to pack for a surf trip video. I guess this is applicable if you are doing like snorkeling or certain water activities. I didn't know how to pack that well on my first surf trip, so this time I am much more prepared and much more excited. The first things that um, that we really need um, during a surf trip is really down to the swimwear. So this one is just a regular bathing suit. So when you want to surf or like it comes to like a new surfer, um, you want to be as protected <laughs> as you can, I guess. Like something that happens is like we build rashes, like when uh, we pop up from the surfboard again and again. Spend a lot of time on on the belly on the surfboard and if you're not sitting down yeah it's just a lot of like friction this suit was given to me by Lydia yeah she's like contributing to my surf journey a one piece is really useful because the waves can be pretty strong and when when we like wipe out under the under the wave there's like a tumbling motion that we call washing machine and that can rip out a lot of um, teeny bikinis so a one piece is really good to have and something that we want to want to consider is uh, also you know the two piece it's really fun to wear really bright ones although to be honest uh, I always wear a rash guard over over all these like small bikinis this is from H&M as you can tell I really like them the warm color palette and I've even done like the color consultation so I was right in my guessing that yes i am definitely in the warm color tones they call it yeah like getting your bikini ripped out is not the most fun thing so what we can do is actually wear some shorts over i highly recommend <laughs> a short that matches uh, as you can see there's some orange detailing but yeah anything that is like a sport short something that can water wick really quickly that helps. I also find that it is super important. The last trip I didn't have this. This is like a lifesaver when it comes to surfing because when you are in the water for such a long time, there is this thing called the sun and the sun is gonna burn um, most of us. Yeah, actually even all of us. Uh, even tan skin and light skin, fair skin. This is a game changer. Just um, like a compression or like any sports long pants. Don't skip this step. This is so so crucial and this is something that I had to borrow because I didn't bring it the last round. To be honest, like any any trip that you can have like some sports leggings. They are amazing. Right now I have this like backpackers bag. I don't think I'm gonna go with this even though it's an amazing bag. It's just that I have very limited um, limited luggage allowance. So yeah, I'm gonna need to reconsider what kind of luggage I bring because I'm bringing my surfboard which I am quite excited about. I've never traveled with a really heavy 9.3 feet surfboard before but I'm excited to use my own board and to get my money's worth out of my 3,600 ringgit surfboard. Surfing is actually quite an affordable sport if you don't buy your own boards and if you don't go to like crazy expensive places. So Lombok is pretty decent. I want to see how much it costs to surf in Malaysia actually. This one, rash guard. Rash guard is super important. I like the ones with the zips so you can like <laughs> not flash people but like just dry, dry yourself um, out in the sun. And this one is cropped. It's useful. This one's thicker. All of these I've purchased from Zalora. So they are really, really awesome to wear. So this actually comes with, um, sorry, just one moment. Yeah, this actually comes with like inbuilt uh, place where you can insert like cups for girls. Like, you know, those bra cups. But yeah, I just prefer to wear a swimsuit underneath. So it's just that, it's like a, basically like a long sleeve top but it's a rash guard and this will protect my skin uh, when I'm surfing. So if I don't want to tan um, that much, this really helps protect the skin because surfing takes place over like many hours on the water, uh, under the hot sun. And also the waters are going to be really cold this time around because Australia is in their winter season, August. Well, I guess like coming out of their winter season and into spring. Yeah, <laughs> that's the word. I haven't had seasons in a long time. 
One rash guard, two rash guard. Oh, this one I really like. This one's fun. With this like chevron kind of print. All of these I'll link down below if they still have them in stock on Zalora. Something that's I guess really really important um, on these surf trips. That's another pair of shorts. And this is my sports t-shirt. This is my leadership program t-shirt. It says LP247. 247. And at the back it says champions. Yeah. All these sports shirts are super useful and I will bring this with me and this shirt I love. Uh, this came from Lombok itself, the group book, Board Riders. Yeah, just plain shirts. So all these are super useful when you go on surf trips because yeah, it's not a fashion trip. You, you don't really want to be like lounging around in your bikini all the time because it is it's a kampung, you know, like a small, small village. Village? Yeah, I guess so. And you know, they are Muslim in this village and we need to dress, you know, more appropriately. Something that I also highly recommend um, if you have it for like water. This one is uh, not for water, but it is, it is a fun bucket hat. I feel like no holiday is complete without some headwear. <laughs> I look so funny. So basically, you can like wear this and there's this strap. To, so that you don't lose your <laughs> you don't lose your hat. So basically, just shield yourself from the sun. Uh, I guess like some of the things that are great to have. So this is my trusty Uniqlo highly water resistant parka. I got the guys one. What it does is I don't bring umbrellas. Usually I just bring this, and it's able to withstand a little bit of rain for a little bit of time. It's not fully waterproof. Like those ones are more expensive. I just haven't invested in one yet, but this Uniqlo one is very decent and a neutral navy color. The guy ones are generally a thicker quality and with more like better colors. Uh, so I would go for that. And something that I highly recommend that's a bit underrated when it comes to like packing is having a plain outfit, a go-to plain outfit that is very comfortable. And planes tend to be really cold, so I always bring you know, a pair of like jogger pants. This one is like a, a Uniqlo one and it's it's not exactly track pants, I guess. Yes, it's track pants but in the flare style and it's very, very, very comfortable. And I don't travel without it, I think. And I just wear like a sports bra, um, uh, a sweater, a sweater over it. And I call it a day and call it my plane outfit. It's super nice to travel in. And yeah, there will be a lot of re-wearing on the trip Practically, that's about it. Those are the essentials. There are definitely more things like camera gear, you know, camera gear and tripods and like connecting chargers. I'm going to be working this trip. I'm working remotely, so I need all my setup, which is my laptop, chargers, any external device because I'm really running out of space. Even though things are going on the iCloud, I just want to make sure that everything is backed up. Uh, what else? Footwear. Something that's really, really good. I think I'm gonna show you in a different clip. Water shoes. Water shoes are super important when it comes to water sports. The reason being because you never know when the tide is low and then sometimes there are like, you know, corals or like urchin, like sea urchins and you might hurt yourself more. So I actually surfed all the way with water shoes the last round and I bought some really cute ones this round that are right up my alley in color. Yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I normally bring a pair of Converse and flip-flops. Yeah, no heels for me. Just plain old flip-flop sandals. Yeah, let's get into the toiletries part. This one is a big part when it comes to surfing. So sunscreen is super important when it comes to surfing. This is a present that I got from my friend Barry. We met in Korea. He was showing me all of the products that he has and yeah, this one is a mineral sunscreen. Let's see if it can focus. The zinc oxide uh, is really really helpful when it comes to when it comes to like uh, water sports because of all like all of the water exposure. Like when we get into the water, straight away things wash off. So zinc sunscreen really helps. There are tin versions where it's like you need to work the product you put it on your face, it's really, really difficult to apply. So normally what I do is I do a few layers of application so that I don't get burnt. And what I found was that the cream zinc sunscreen is really, really good. 
if you can get your hands on them. They are fabulous. Yeah, this one's a spray. I think it has a lock mechanism where it opens like that and then it locks like that. Sprays tend to finish really quickly. I'll be using this a lot. Thanks for the gift, Barry. Other than that, like face sunscreen, all of all of that. I think I'll show you the full range in a short. I'll create a short. Just keeping the skin very clean is super important. Yeah, so like this size cleanser is fabulous for traveling because it's small and you can bring it on the flight, 50 ml. Uh, this is Cos RX. I feel like over over the years, I've been really getting into Korean beauty because it's like it's good and it's cheaper than you know, all the other designer beauties. Also, another Cos RS product that really helped me the last time was this uh, Advanced Snail All in One Cream. So, this consistency is normally thick. They normally recommend the emulsion for, for like tropical weather because it's lighter, but I found, I found that this really helped to replenish my, my skin, especially when I was like so having so much sun exposure every day. So I'm going to bring a new tub of this. This one is almost finished. Something very, very important is to bring some hair care. So this is uh, Davine's hair butter. So it functions like a mask, mask and conditioner and lotion. Lotion is super important and I like this tin because it is, you know, easy to transport. I know I won't, I won't like have a malfunction where I drop it all over, like squeeze it all over my bag. So this is important. And uh, some fragrance, just bring any like small fragrance. I think it's always nice to smell good. So just, just, yeah. Ah, sunscreen. This thing is really good. It is the Beauty of Joseon. Uh, there are two two of them in here. It comes in like a tube like this. It kind of looks like toothpaste, huh? So these are sunscreens. They are easy to transport. A used one and then a, a fresh one with me. Yeah, it's just really lightweight and easy to apply and it feels like your skin after. There's no sticky feeling. There's no white cast, which is really important for sunscreen. I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!